Yo, what is going on everybody? So right now we're in Saginaw, Michigan, about to head over to Frankenmuth, which for those of you guys who don't know or aren't familiar with the state of Michigan, Frankenmuth is like a pretty popular holiday destination in uh, in like the Saginaw, southeastern Michigan area. I guess technically it's outside of southeastern Michigan, but anyway, it's really uh, well known for its like fried chicken dinners, its uh, German history, particularly from like the south of Germany in Bavaria and whatnot. So we're about to head down there, or up there rather. And uh, now I've never been to Franken Move before, so it'll be really interesting to uh, get that experience. I'm also really keen on obviously German history, European history, given the fact that I went to university in Scotland and in Europe, so it'd be cool to check it out. See you guys there. What's going on guys? So right now we're just at the entrance here to Franken Move. It's a nice little arch welcoming you, obviously a German. Uh, and then there's a little welcome center up there, so I'm actually gonna walk up there, and uh, we're gonna head into town now. This is actually some good uh, exposure for my Roadstar mic that I picked up, which is uh, it has the little dead cat thing here, so it's supposed to be good for wind reduction, and uh, hopefully it does the job because it is extremely windy out here, and there's a lot of cars coming by. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the inside. All right, so now we're at Bronner's uh, Christmas Wonderland, which is actually the largest uh, Christmas store in the world. You see, man, you can see right there. I've never been here before. I have been to Frankenmuth before, but uh, only for the like restaurant bit, and it was like 10 years ago or so. So uh, I don't really remember too much of it. I've been doing a lot of international travel, obviously. Uh, so this is, I guess it's kind of neat to see places inside of the U.S. Nativity scene going on there some other Christmas statue decorations outside. Then there's also a water park over there, which is, I think it's like Splash Village or something, so that's pretty neat. Uh, it's actually quite interesting out there. Okay, so we've got some more like details and whatnot out here. Christmas, it's actually really cool. This place is actually open uh, 361 days out of the year. I don't know the four days that it's closed. I would assume Christmas would be one. And then it's got like God bless you and other greetings and whatnot in various languages across the world. Okay, here we are at the west entrance here. So kind of got like a log cabin set up going on. Another nativity scene up there. More Christmas decorations. Family time. And then going in here, got like another nativity scene. Really neat. Here, like a black nativity scene going on. We zoom in. More decorations in there. Wow. I mean, I feel like a kid again. This is incredible. So this is an even better viewpoint here. Just so you can see around all the decorations. Wow, it's really beautiful. And then over there, of course, you've got like that Bavarian style architecture going on. So that's cool. More stuff over here. You got some holiday trinkets for the trees, for the kids. Organic, because it is 2018. I'm surprised they don't have a vegan one here oh wow look at this I love my rabbit <laughs> that is neat bringing in a focus there nice oh dude it's a fucking mermaid you know how dope that is so we're making our way to the back of the store now and now they've got trinkets from all over the world which is really nice so I see an England one. Uh, let's see if they have a Scotland one. We've got Greece, France. Mexico is over there. Let's zoom in. Poland. That's actually quite cool. That's really neat actually. And they've got flags obviously from different countries around the world, which is also really neat. This is actually one of my biggest pet peeves when they refer to the Netherlands as Holland. Oh, we've got Scotland here. Yes. Yes, absolutely yes. I mean, look at that. That's dope. Definitely buying one of these, no doubt. So I've actually just been here for a minute, just 
really going over the countries and flags and whatnot uh, because obviously I've been to so many of these places so it's just really cool and like the ornaments for them it's really neat so they've got like a mini wee Eiffel Tower here oh and actually there's a big Eiffel Tower right there above us never even looked up so there's some African mask here in the African section for the ornaments which is really neat obviously we just come back from Kenya which hopefully the vlog for that will be up sometime soon once I get once I get it edited and whatnot in Dubai so be on the lookout for that this will probably be up sooner since obviously I'm on a new camera right now uh, and my other stuff is on another uh, memory card other animals really neat and then you've got some other like more African tribal work stuff right here that looks like it's probably been done by like a tribe and sent over which is really cool because that makes it all the more unique if you're ever in Michigan I really recommend checking this place out it is really nice got obviously a telephone booth there and there's uh, the detail that they've put in here is just out of this world you've got an elephant there you've got a kangaroo there I mean it's like another world you know uh, above us over there you've got some teddy bears that <laughs> look like they're in a band kind of like Chuck E. Cheese if you've ever been to Chuck E. Cheese Maybe. holy shit yo Smokey the Bear is up there <laughs> Oh man, look at these. Those are those dolls from uh, Black Ops. Uh, there's actually a name for them, I'm not sure. But anyway, it's Russian dolls and there are like 30 of them inside of one. That's actually really neat there. To the back of the store. The back of the section of the store anyway. There's there's like four quadrants. They have east, uh, west, north, and south. Wow, look at that. That is really pretty. Oh, yo, it's the Coca-Cola Santa. That's dope. Oh, and they've even got like, like a Fanta ornament. I'm a huge Fanta orange fan. They've got Coke, Diet Coke, if you're one of those weirdos who drinks Diet Coke. Iron Man, Peter Pan, other things for Disney to make money off of you. Mario. Awesome. Santa's sleigh. That's a nice touch. All right, so my nephews have just discovered the Paw Patrol section. <laughs> Paw Patrol and PJ Masks section here at Bronner's. And they have they have gone into meltdown mode. This was a mistake. This was definitely a mistake. Everybody wants one now. This is my mood, literally. Meltdown is still going on. It's actually really neat, the, the level of diversity they've got here amongst the characters. They've even got a color coordinated up there. How neat. Paw Patrol up there. A lot of detail into this place. Hello Kitty. Also got SpongeBob there. Nice detail. And here goes my favorite word. Sale. Several ornaments, trinkets, whatnot, colorful stuff. Oh, I like this one. I really like that one. That's different. Okay, I am getting dizzy and there's way too much going on in here. I'm about to head out check out see what the damage is going to be to my bank account check out process here crazy all right so we're finally in the town now in the city center here in Frankenmuth. Oh, it actually looks an awful lot like germany which i mean i suppose is why it's called little bavaria yeah i mean it, it really makes me feel like i'm back in uh in, in southern germany really well preserved lots of culture here there's a museum over there i think we're gonna be going over to zender's fried chicken which is like like i was saying earlier at the beginning of the vlog one of the main things that frank and move is known for is their famous fried chicken dinners which of course can be gotten can be got rather at uh zender's or at bavarian inn so this is actually kind of a neat detail of this water fountain here the uh, lads here are all wearing traditional Bavarian get-up, which I thought was really cool. There's also some pennies in there, which I'm actually really tempted because I'm a broke university graduate to go in there and get some, but I'm not gonna do that, I don't think. Here, so there's kind of this mix between uh, Newtown, like 19th century Midwestern America vibe, mixed with like the more traditional Bavarian vibe, which uh, can be seen in like designs like that fresco type things and then 
if we can go in close enough, you can see way down there, there's kind of like that Bavarian style architecture going on. And then mixed with that like Main Street America feel. So it's actually really neat. Really, really neat. Down there on the right, camera lens isn't going in quite that far. You can see that is Zender's fried chicken. I'm saving up an appetite for that at the end of the day. Oh man, look at the pony across the street. Aw, so you've got that, once again, that old town feel, feel to it. That's really cool. I've never ridden a horse before. It'd be so cool to try out. Definitely on my bucket list. So I've actually just been sat here for the past like 30 seconds or so, just really perplexed as to what the hell Taffy is. First, I remember that song from the early 2000s, Girls Shake That Laffy Taffy, but I've got no idea what actual purpose this serves. I guess it's some type of sweet, so. That's neat. It says it's for display only. I was gonna say, like, you definitely don't want to be eating that. That's different. So this is the cheese house, which, as you probably would have guessed, is known for its cheese. All different types of sweet stuff as well. Sweets over there. There's some nice magnets. Neat stuff. Pretty much a tourist trap, to be honest. But you know, we're here. Might as well get the experience. So you've got traditional. Bavarian uh, Uggs or you know however you want to I think they're called like what beer steins never been Oktoberfest but it's definitely something on the bucket list so as you'll know as you'll find out uh, when I eventually get around to uploading my Spain vlog uh, I ended up having to toss out my Swiss Army knife that I actually got in Switzerland uh, because of the fact that it couldn't go through airport security. So that has really, you know, been on my mind recently about that. It's like they're made out of wood or something like that, but. Shout out to Ryanair for charging 100 pounds slash 120 euros just to check one bag each way. I mean, at that point, I pretty much just agreed that it was not worth it. Decided to keep it at the toilets at Glasgow Airport and someone decided to come in there and take the knife which I guess I should have probably seen in Heinz but anyway wasn't worth paying that amount of money just to check one bag because of a knife in there when I could literally buy another knife quarter the price this has more of that more like small town architectural setup going on here some buildings lots of colors making our way making my way downtown dun, dun, dun. <laughs> making my way to get some fucking food I am starving I've had like 18 detours because my nephews wanted some chocolate and candy my sister and mom wanted to do some shopping finally able to get some proper food now so this is right here at Bavarian Inn across the street which is as the name was suggest made in traditional Bavarian style like most of the town of Frankenmuth they have fucking amazing food in there i've only been to freaking move one time like i mentioned at the beginning of the video but it is super super good in there super overpriced though definitely no! make sure you no! cleared it with your bank account before you get here finally inside of zender's restaurant a little mural just showing some of the history of the restaurant one thing that's really cool about this place is that the waitresses and servers actually wear traditional bavarian uh like outfits keep going in there it's actually really sweet there's actually a, a lot of cool art going on in here as well so my nephews are having a blast running into these you know like the pole things or whatever uh that that you'll see like in queues they're having a blast running into them actually my one of my youngest nephews actually just hit one <laughs> so he was crying for a bit but uh yeah we've got like an hour wait time like i was saying i'm starving I need some food because I'm, it's like, you know, the Twix commercials where it's like, you're not you when you're hungry. That's pretty much how I'm feeling right now. I need some food. So I really don't know who told this guy that he could sing, whoever's on the vocals, but right now they've just been having like a big display of patriotism rather in front of Bavarian Inn here. And I've just been dumbfounded for the past like 10 minutes. So I'm absolutely buzzing right now because my mom's just called me and told me that we're ready to sit down and eat so I can go back inside and get out of this whatever concert type thing you want to call that. But <sighs> food, get in my belly. Finally able to get some grub here. Set it, seat it rather. I'm so hungry, I can't even talk properly. Here's Enders. If you've ever been to Germany, it definitely resembles like a traditional German style cafe slash restaurant. In terms of the lighting, 
German restaurants are typically really dark, especially like Bavaria and uh, even into Switzerland. So I'm actually extremely disappointed right now because of the fact that they've ran out of schnitzel. So I've had to settle for shrimp and chicken, which I suppose is better than nothing, I guess, but very disappointing. Yo, what's going on guys? So it is 4.07 in the morning and I'm fucking knackered. Like I'm not too long back from Frank and Move. Had the longest day ever. And didn't even get to get any schnitzel while I was up there, which was really disappointing. Uh, but despite all of that, I did have a great day in terms of making my first vlog. This is my first vlog ever. For people who have been subscribed to the channel for a while, you guys might know that I started off doing like video game stuff. I was doing some football stuff as well. I was doing politics. I was doing a lot of different stuff. It's very diverse. Like if you go back and look at my older videos, uh, but because I was in university at the time and with exams and whatnot, I kind of just fell off in terms of making YouTube videos. But I'm actually in the process of getting back consistent with uploading again. And with that being said, I'm thinking about making these types of videos a lot more often because like I said, I did have a lot of fun during the production of it. It was really cool. I've actually got some vlogs on back order, so to speak, uh, from Dubai and also from Kenya and Spain, from a bunch of other places that I've been in the past few months uh, that was recorded on my Canon G5, but I've since upgraded to an M50, which has fucking atrocious battery life, by the way. Uh, I actually had to charge my battery for like 20 minutes before I made this vlog because it died in the process of making the other one. But anyway, I'm, I'm starting to get a lot more consistent with uploading videos and I hope to be a lot more consistent going forward. So with that being said, uh, I do plan to do a lot more vlogs, travel vlogs, other types of vlogs, shopping hauls, things like that. Um, also some music production once I get Ableton together. I'm currently learning how to use that uh, to go into like EDM production and whatnot. So that would be cool. Uh, I've just graduated university from the University of Glasgow. so. I've got a lot more free time on my hand now, and I hope to be making more consistent, high quality content. So if you guys did enjoy the video, I would really appreciate it if you would show that by liking, by dropping a like, and by subscribing to the channel if you wanna see more content going forward. I really appreciate it, and thank you guys so much for sticking it out through the 17 or 19 minutes, however long this video ends up being. Really appreciate it, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.